Well, thank you, Steve, for an excellent presentation. Uh, I think it's probably answered a lot of the questions on audit trails that we've already received, at least I hope so. Um, but again, that's what they're for, for later on. Uh, so I wanted to give you a case example uh, of the review of audit trails and GCP inspections, uh, one that we had uh, fairly recently. Uh, the names have been changed to protect the innocent, and the process has gotten a little more awkward to explain, because uh, I can't use names, but uh, hopefully uh, you'll get the gist of it. So um, a sponsor submitted an NDA uh, for a new molecular entity, um, and this drug was the first targeted treatment for serious disorder. Uh, so, you know, this wasn't, you know, just a supplemental NDA. This is really important. Um, the Office of New Drugs Review Division requested a data audit inspections of the sponsor, the CRO, as well as uh, several clinical investigators. So, uh, the sponsor inspection, which I, which I was on. Uh, during the sponsor inspection, we found that a majority of the data for the pivotal study was handled by a single electronic database, and I'll call that EDC Alpha, which had been set up uh, for the sponsor uh, by the CRO. Um, this database contained uh, all the study ECRFs. Uh, and the audit trails for EDC Alpha were adequate uh, for reconstructing, in our view, were re adequate for reconstructing the conduct of the study. Um, and then going to the primary efficacy endpoint data. Um, however, the primar primary efficacy endpoint data uh, were handled by a vendor. Um, for uh, blinding and other purposes, who had a separate um, uh, database, we'll call it EDC Beta, um, and this was also set up by the CRO. Uh, so the vendor used it, but the CRO set it up. Um, and this second database was also reviewed during our inspection. So when, uh, when we reviewed the audit trails for the second database, uh, again, this EDC beta that handled the primary efficacy endpoint data, I mean, obviously, you know, this is, this is, this is what really matters. Not that other stuff doesn't matter. This is where the rubber hits the road. Um, the audit trails for approximately half the subjects appear to be adequate. Um, however, for the other half of the subjects, the, the audit trails all started with the same individual, um, let's say John Doe, on the same date, um, with, you know, times were somewhat different, but they were all on the same date, and there was no reason given why um, uh, it starts there. Um, and that's a problem we, 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 we uh, sometimes uh, uh, encounter with audit trails, is that a reason is missing, um, which is obviously very important. Uh, so what was going on here? Um, so we brought these issues uh, to the sponsor's attention. Uh, and the explanation was the following. It turns out that during the first half of the study, the vendor had used their own database, now introducing a third database as well, called EDC uh, Delta, to capture the primary FSC endpoint. Uh, uh, and this was their own database. It, wasn't, it didn't come from the CRO. This was their own database. Uh, the initial uh, vendor, uh, this initial database by the vendor had not been disclosed to the FDA at the beginning of the sponsor inspection. Um, it was also not in the clinical study report. Um, so apparently, halfway through the study, during an audit of the vendor, the sponsor had recognized that the initial vendor database uh, was not Part 11 compliant. Um, so they scrambled, and the CRO quickly had created a new database for the vendor, which we talked about already, at EDC beta, initially, to handle the prim primary FC endpoint data. Um, so the data for the first half of the study then had to be transferred to the new vendor database. In other words, from EDC Delta to EDC Beta. The audit trails, however, if they ever existed, we never actually found out, um, had not been transferred, only the, only the data. Um, therefore, for these subjects, the audit trails in EDC Beta all, again, started with the same individual. We now know that was the person conducting the transfer on the same date, the day of the transfer. And no reason given, still some reason should be given, you know, transferring data. Um, we were told there was no way to recover the audit trails from the initial vendor database. Again, we didn't even know if they existed, but they said we can't get them. So what are the implications of this? Um, this is, uh, we were therefore unable to reconstruct the conduct of the study with respect to the handling of the primary efficacy endpoint data for approximately half the subjects. Not good. Uh, 
So um, did this mean that we needed to recommend to the FDA review division that they throw out the data for half the subjects? Um, in that case, the study might no longer have been positive due to uh, loss of statistical power. Um, uh, it is true that the FDA had verified the primary, primary efficacy endpoint data during the clinical investigator inspections, um, but that was only a small percentage of the total subjects that are covered there. Any other options? That's rhetorical, I'm sorry. Um, so is there any way to, um, to, for salvaging the data? Um, um, so basically, we asked uh, the sponsor that for a subset of the clinical sites that are those with the most known or suspected GCP issues, we asked the sponsor to provide certified copies of the pa paper source records for the primary FC endpoint. Luckily, they had paper. You know, in this case, we, we don't encourage paper, but you know, luckily they had paper in this case. Um, due to the nature of this composite endpoint, the request ended up being thousands of pages. Um, so several uh, dedicated uh, OSI reviewers, uh, some of whom are here, uh, spent uh, many hours auditing the source records by comparing them to the data line listings provided by the sponsor. And luckily, only very minor discrepancies were found. Um, you know, so as a result, the application was able to move forward and the drug was approved. Uh, luckily for all those uh, subjects waiting you know, with this order, eagerly waiting you know, the treatment for the first target treatment. Um, however, again, if the source data had been electronic, uh, as is the case nowadays, and again, as we generally you know, encourage, um, you know, there might have been no way to salvage that data. Um, and actually also, um, I wanted to emphasize that, um, to put it aside, but to emphasize that you know, we, we, were, we were pleased that we could work together with the sponsor to salvage the data. Our, our, our goal is to work together uh, and uh, you know, get a drug approved you know, with, but with, you know, with, 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 with reliable data. Um, so we really wish you know, that, that the sponsor disclosed this early on and we can address this early on. Because everyone was scrambling and it was just you know, this close to becoming a CR because we didn't have time to review it. So you know, we're, we're, we're here to work with you. You know, no one in the FDA takes, would take pleasure in seeing a drug go down that was the first target treatment. Um, again, we took pleasure in being able to, you know, uh, show data reliability and, and, and see that the drug was approved. Um, so that's it. Thank you very much.